couple days, weeks, months ago, you sent me questions. Drop your full house address. And if I decide to not answer one of these questions, I instead have to do a dare sent by the same person. Personally, I don't want to dox myself, so now I have to speedrun story mode with max sensitivity. Okay guys, we are doing a secret um speedrun technique never before seen called um loading your own save file that's already been the Oh my god, it's so fast. We are at the final boss of Splatoon 3 with maximum motion control and stick sensitivity. Go go <gasps> I forget what to do in this fight. I forget I should not have come in here without a plan. What do I do? Oh my god. Oh wait, I did, I did, I did. Just for reference, I'm going to move my controller 90 degrees right now. What? Oh wait, uh oh. <laughs> Please, <no. laughs> Why did you do that to me? That's so mean, that's so mean. You know, I remember this fight actually being hard, I'm just saying. Oh, get away from me. Oh! <laughs> it's okay, nothing bad will happen. Nah, I saw you, I saw you. You thought just because I had my back turned I wouldn't see you? No. No. Oh, they go again. I didn't know that. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> and there we go. I beat the game. That's the end of the game. Credits rolled. Yay. Would you consider playing meta weapons? Well, I mean, Wiper's already meta, right? Or at least it was. In all honesty, I just don't really enjoy any of the top tier weapons that have been in the meta thus far. Especially Sloshing Machine. I hope they keep nerfing this thing until it's worse than Undercover. If a weapon I already like becomes top tier, I might consider switching, but Wiper is just so much fun. I haven't been able to stop playing it for more than two weeks since I started. What is your favorite special weapon and why? I don't care if it's in a weaker spot right now. When Kraken released, I played Kraken Roller for a week straight. The only reason I stopped playing it was because I kept dying before I could use Kraken. I can't explain why, but it's just so fun to use this special. I was so excited for Wiper Deco because I thought they'd give it crack and then it got missiles. Nintendo, why? What's your favorite Splatoon song slash band? Uh, I don't know much about band lore or any of the song names, but I do know that no matter what I say, I'll probably make someone mad enough to hire an assassin to kill me, so... Play Dynamo, but can only- nice grammar. Play Dynamo, but can only splat people by running them over. I mean, this challenge is kinda easy. They're just standing there. Okay, not that one. Actually, I was lying to you guys. That was actually training dummies in the training room. Those were not real people. I am never going to get a kill with the dynamo. Honestly, playing dynamo is already a challenge enough. Okay, avoid that. And okay, cool. Oh no! Wait, I caught one! No way! Do it. Do it. No! <laughs> now that I'm on a block. Oh! Please! Come on, dude! I don't like this challenge very much. It's okay. I have a plan. I have a plan. It didn't work. They don't even know I'm here. Oh, th they found out. I need to paint the zone. I gotta paint the zone! No! <laughs> The blob, the blob, the blob, the blob, damn it. I think I did pretty good. How do you come up with your name? Alright, so this is gonna make me sound like a really huge nerd, but I already stopped caring about my image after becoming a Splatoon YouTuber. I was 15 and still had that really dumb username everyone comes up with when they're 7, so I was already thinking about changing it. One night I was doing chemistry homework and I had to look at the table of elements for something, and there it was. Yaterbium. Anyways, moral of the story, do homework, maybe, I, I don't know. What are your favorite and least favorite maps from every game? Alright, I can't spend too much time talking about each stage, so I'll limit myself to one sentence. Arowana Mall is cramped, linear, and boring. I feel like I'm playing Splatoon 3 on this map. Urchin Underpass is iconic, it has great flanks and mid, and climbable walls. I didn't even know you could climb walls in this game. Kelp Dome straight up doesn't work. There's so many stally specials in this game that prevent you from moving through one of the 97 choke points. Why? Snapper Canal feels so big just because of how open it is. The terrain is unique and interesting. It feels like a Splatoon 1 map. Do I even need to tell you what's wrong with Mincemeat? Even with the oversimplification of Flounder Heights, it's still one of the few maps in this game that plays differently from any of this other garbage. Please fix the maps, Nintendo. Good news, me who wrote this script two months ago, they actually are starting to fix the maps. 
kinda. Where's your Terbium 1? So fun fact, this isn't actually my main channel. I have another channel where I've put some Blender animations I've done for school and plan on continuing to use it to upload anything I deem high quality enough. Not sure what that'll exactly be at this point, but something other than Splatoon gameplay. But that's just your Terbium. As for your Terbium 1... Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, uh, say something nice about rollers. Uh, the rollers provide a very unique and enjoyable playstyle, and I wish they were in the meta so I could play them more. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite Splatoon YouTuber? I have been watching Octoboy since before Splatoon 2 released. He's gone in so many different directions over the years with different video structures and editing styles. Speaking of editing, this guy is like a madman. How do you even do this? This was five years ago. He put so much stress on making sure every clip, every angle, every tiny element in the final cut is perfect. He easily takes the spot of my second favorite Splatoon YouTuber. Now coming in at number one, we have Yuturbium 2. So I know someone asked how tall I was, but now the comment's deleted. I'm not answering that, so I'm gonna spin this wheel to choose between one of the several people who gave me a dare but no truth, because none of you can follow basic instructions. No, 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 Win a game with your... <gasps> no. I hate machine. Are you... Dude, I'm not even... My reticle isn't even on you. My reticle isn't even on you. I am so glad that this was a meta weapon for over half a year. Oh, I did not just die to someone called Poopy Pants. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> okay, but when I try to not aim with it, it doesn't work. Get out of here. <laughs> we will win this game. I hope. They don't even know I'm here. Bye. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. That won't flip the zone. <laughs> no way! The greatest source of joy anyone could ever ask for. Switching off of this terrible weapon. What are your hobbies outside of gaming? Uh, I make videos. Wait, never mind. I really enjoy going out somewhere with friends, and there's a lot of different things I've learned that I enjoy doing. But pretty much all of those things still involve staring at a computer. I'm a dumb idiot loser, okay? Come back in a year or something, maybe I'll have come out of my shell by then. What's your favorite or least favorite Splatoon video you've made? Favorite would be between the blind speedrun and quick super jump videos. I really like the pacing in both, the storyline in the blind speedrun, and the editing in quick super jump. Least favorite is easily the chill season video. I basically just looked through about 40 minutes of aimlessly playing with friends and stitched some clips together. There's nothing wrong with that of course, but it was so rushed and forced. The few days I was at Editing it felt like a chore rather than something I actually wanted to do. Who's your favorite idol? I could answer this question in a lot of different ways. On one hand, I think the character design has only gotten better as the series progressed. However, I really don't like how Deep Cut was forced into the story mode as comic relief. Plus, the whole idols getting tangled up and fighting off an existential threat trope has really ran its course by now. There's so many different factors in play. I could talk about this for hours and I'm just kidding, of course it's Big Man. Big Man! Big Man! Yeah. How are you feeling today? Hey. How do you like your steak cooked? Medium rare. And if anyone tries to tell you anything else, then I respect their opinion as a human being and recognize that while it may not align with my preferences, it is perfectly valid for them to think otherwise. Also, you're wrong. Did you always want to do YouTube, or did you just upload and get lucky? Dare do a salmon run match while spamming Booyah the entire game. You know, I don't actually have a problem with answering this question, but that dare sounds really funny, so... Alright, this is a private game because I don't want to lose professional, but no, they do not know what is going on at all. They have no idea. Okay, this is really awkward, actually. This is so bad. We are going to lose wave one. Okay. Oh, no. <gasps> No, 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 no. Get me out of here. This is bad. The worst part is that if I'm like, if I say booyah while I'm like, I can't go into squid, I have to stop for a moment just to go into squid. Oh my god. No! <laughs> no way we still pass the first wave. What the hell is this? Oh my god. Please. Please! <laughs> 
Please, 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 please. Wait, I need to get the egg in. <laughs> Why do we have two GooTubers? No! You do not understand how uncomfortable this is for me. Oh god. I'm doing better with this weapon at least. This is better than the blob situation. I actually feel my hands starting to cramp from being in this position. This is so awkward. I should really stop. Can we please throw this? Ah! Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm trying to sub strafe. But it's not working. No way we do this. No way. I was expecting to lose wave one, but like, bro. I'm sorry that you have to endure this for so long. What am I doing? No. Oh. That didn't even land. I Not even motion controls are good for me right now. Because Oh my god. My thumb is moving back and forth between like the D-pad and the right stick just for me to make some sort of tiny motion that I can't easily do with motion controls. No way we do this. Okay. 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 Over. <laughs> Besides Splatoon, what is your favorite video game? Rhythm Doctor. Please play Rhythm Doctor, it's so good. I found this game from a demo that was part of some random Steam event. The basic concept is that you're a doctor that treats patients with heart problems by pressing your keyboard on every seventh beat of their heart. The game adds to this premise by adding some new element to every level based on actual music theory, and not just cranking up the song speed and adding a billion notes on the screen. It's hard to explain it well without spoiling everything. The gameplay is awesome. The visual effects are stunning. The story makes me want to have a heart attack so I can be sent to the game hospital and be a part of it. The soundtrack covers so many genres from emotional guitar pieces to chiptune to lo-fi to dubstep for some reason. Not complaining though. And then there's this song. This song is so good. It's just... Oh yeah! Hell yeah! Fizzed, if you or any of the other developers are watching this, please put the soundtrack on Spotify. I will do anything you ask of me. There's even a level editor that lets you push the game even further than the main story does. And there's always people who are more than happy to help you learn how to use it in the game's Discord server. I don't know my exact playtime since I didn't open the game through Steam most of the time, but I must have sunk at least 200 hours into playing custom levels and trying to make my own big emphasis on trying. I may have been pretty quiet and shy at the time, but the months I spent looking through that server, learning how to use the level editor, watching people stream games and VC channels while muted because once again, I was shy. When COVID started, my brain got stuck in this weird limbo, online school was incredibly watered down and easy, and there wasn't really anything I could do outside so I just felt frozen. It's crazy to say, but this random game and the people surrounding it became an outlet that allowed me to get unstuck and learn how to express myself more in ways I probably should have learned during freshman years of high school. Sorry, I got a little sidetracked there. In conclusion, if you like Rhythm Games, play it. If you don't like Rhythm Games, play it. If you like Rhythm Heaven, well, you, you've probably already played it by now. Uh, go play it again. They're gonna update it soon. They're gonna, they're gonna update the story. Actually, the story update's already out. Hey, past me, what do you think about the new update? Oh my god! God! The, oh my god! This is the best game ever, but it's also better now. Oh my god! What would be your food paradise? A lot of food questions, huh? The problem with, as you called, a food paradise is that you need a wide variety. I could just say my favorite food, but within a couple weeks I'd want to eat literally anything else just because it's different. After spending the past month at university eating the same five things that are pre-made and left sitting for half an hour before I get to eat it, I have made a realization. I took my parents cooking far too much for granted. They'll act all humble and be like, Oh yeah, these are all kind of lazy things. I'm not that good at cooking. As they hand me the best plate of lasagna I'll ever have in my life. I had my food paradise, and it's gone. Well, actually, I'm still moving back in during summer for a few years, but for all intents and purposes, it's gone. What made you start this channel, Rhythm Doctor? <laughs> You thought I was gonna finally talk about something else. I beat one of the most infamous custom levels in this game at increased speed without any misses. To be fair, it wasn't too difficult, I was just the only person at the time that bothered trying to grind it. I created this channel to upload the recording of me doing this, along with the most unpolished and rushed introduction ever. Please do not watch this video, it sucks. And now I do Splatoon for some reason. The end. See you in three years next time I upload. Bye bye!